Hi guys, it's Hany here and today I'm gonna be sharing with you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to decorate Christmas bow cookies. Let's get started. First, we're going to spread a thin layer of thread icing just on the top edge of my bow cookie and I'm using flat food only paint brush. This is a brush from a Wilton set that I absolutely love and I have it listed in my Amazon shop. Link to the shop is in the description box under the video. Let it dry for about an hour or so and then with edible marker you can draw the guideline for the center knot. And after that we can do the loops. So I'm doing the right loop first using 20 second consistency royal icing and I'm also going to add the creases using darker red, pipe short lines and then shape them with a scribe. Now those of you who are not familiar with uh, the term of 20 second consistency, it basically means when you thin your royal icing with water and when you pull it up with a spatula or when you run a spatula through the icing, the line that the, the spatula creates in the icing is going to disappear within those 20 seconds. And you can find a detailed tutorial about the different consistencies on my blog if you are a picture learner or here on YouTube if you prefer a video tutorial. Now we're going to create a zigzag line in the middle here. This is going to help us avoid cratering. Let that line cross before you flood icing over it. And I'm going to start making the tails. Again, I'm using 20 second consistency royal icing here. Now I often get asked, how do I make red royal icing? I like to use super red Americolor brand food coloring and I will color my red royal icing when it's just um, it's not it's no longer pink but it's not deep red um, and then I let it rest for at least several hours and up to several days resting really helps deepen the color and you don't have to use as much of it um, excess Food coloring in your royal icing can cause issues like drying or also bleeding. Make sure that you let each tail crust. The first tail should be crusted before you add the second tail. And then let it crust again and then you can add the center knot with 20 second consistency royal icing. Isn't this pretty? Now I can see this bow design being used on different occasions. It will, be great. it will be great for christenings, birthday parties, graduation. You just need to use maybe slightly different colors. You can add texture, you can add uh, patterns with airbrushing. There's so much you can do with this design. All right, so this is almost done. And then we have to let that dry and then you can add some details. I'm using piping consistency royal icing here, adding some loops and lines on the loops and also on the tails. And to make it even more Christmassy, I'm going to add some gold details. So here I'm using PME 1.5 piping tip and uh, I colored my royal icing with ivory food coloring. You can also use uh, light brown if you wish. And this is piping consistency here. And I'm going to outline the tails. And then after it dries, which will take maybe an hour, we can paint this outline with gold. So I'm using, this is um, Edible Glamorous Gold from Sweet Sticks. It's ready to use. You can also use gold luster dust mixed with uh, alcohol to paint. Now I'm also going to add some details onto the red icing to make it a bit more festive. So I'm adding some, three dots and also I'm going to paint stars. And that's how you can make these Christmas bow cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified about my new uploads. And I will see you next time.